What's the challenging child? Slanter and Joe here. Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Real Version Trial Run. In the last episode, quite a bit happened. So first off, we went to the Toxin Woods and saw Temporal, Volbeat and Iranese. We went to uh, the Mount Glace and we saw Temporal Mudslax. And then we saw Merlin activate his master plan catch the uh, catch Celebi to try and control time uh, to travel through time aim to uh, become king by defeating our father Arthur in battle at the championship match of his uh, royal contest and become king which has made uh, both Alice and Victor disappear we have not disappeared yet. I don't know why, but Celebi is keeping us alive. So, let's go and talk to Celebi. Oh, and by the way, in about three hours, I am going to be streaming live. Uh, if you're seeing this on Sunday, I'm going to be uh, at 5 p.m. Uh, I'm going to be live on my channel, Lantern, uh, the link in the description below, and we're going to be playing Pokemon Couch version as part of a trial run live. We're going to be doing a Pokemon Couch version live Nuzlocke. Join us for it. It's a really good game. It's made by the communities of the core four. You know who they are. I told you who they are already. We're talking Dylan. Ast uh, we're talking Dylan, United Gamer 101. Frank, Asteroid Mania Videos. Ryan, King Corfish, And of course, Vinny, aka Original 151. So, that is the game we will be playing. We will be playing it every Sunday for you guys in a Nuzlocke format or just a regular X-Play format if we lose the Nuzlocke. But we will be playing it every Sunday from 8 till 10 p.m. British summertime, Greenwich Mean Time. You know, when time zones change. But they're going to change by the end of this month. So, you know, that's when we will be streaming for you guys. So join us, would you? And so allow for that... Royal version videos are going out at 5 p.m. for now on on Sundays. Only on Sundays, though. Everything every other day they go out at normal uh, their normal time, which is about 7 till 9 p.m. Yes, I'd like to use the dual key card. I know this is strange. Uh, I'm not actually speaking to you. Well, not physically, anyway. If uh, I was to do, uh, if I do this, happens. Me, Joe. I'm speaking to you telepathically, and I'm afraid that uh, this timeline isn't currently being erased. Whatever happened, uh, mm, uh, whatever your uncle has done in the past is destroying this reality and everything you know. I'm afraid whatever has happened there has made your family uh, cease to exist. I am using the strength I have left to keep you here, Joe. But this room may be the only thing left in the entire existence of this universe. This timeline, if you will. But I'm free, and we can change that. We can undo everything. Joe, I have known about you for a long time. You are of pure heart, and the only one who can stop this. Why am I only? Uh, why am I the one of pure heart and the only one who can stop this? There must have been other people who could stop this, you know. You know, there are other people who can stop this person. Why do it have to be the people who are pure of heart to do it? My power. I, I can use my power to follow the Alga, uh, and we can go back and stop him before he changes anything. Joe, I'd like you to come with uh, for me to help fix this besides you need me to time travel anyway there's a computer over there go make sure your Pokemon are ready uh, and that you have space for me in your party 
but please hurry. All right, fine, hang on, give me a sec. What if I left? Hey, where are you going? <laughs> I wanted to see what happens if you leave. <laughs> I wanted to see what happens if you're like, yeah, I don't really feel like helping you. Well, I don't really know who I want to get rid of for this. I mean, I don't even really know what level Celebi is going to be. James? You know what? I'm gonna sit you in the box with all your, uh, of all, with all these friends of yours, and we'll see what happens. Celebi is a grass type in itself. Hopefully, Celebi is uh, leveled enough for me to be able to use it, or I can get access to my PC again uh, before a big battle happens. Joe obtains Celebi. Okay, I have one nickname for Celebi. And it is this. It is, it is literally a Doctor Who reference. This is Time Lord. Let's do this together, Joe. Let's go and stop Merlin. Okay, we made it. We should have arrived just after Merlin did. If we're going uh, to put things right, then we need to release uh, Dialga from Merlin's control. Because Merlin used the Adamant Orb to control Dialga, uh, will be under his complete. Dialga will be under his complete control. But I think if you battle Dialga and weaken it, then I might be able to free its mind. It, it'll. We're in for a tough battle, Joe, uh, but I think uh, we'll be able to do this. Okay. Uh, if we're battling Dialga, uh, I'm going to put bits up front. And whilst we're looking at things, can we look at Time Lord? Oh, Time Lord's level 80. Oh, we're fine. Time Lord's level 80, we're fine. He's Psychic Grass type, Adamant Nature, has the moves Psychic Earth Power, Giga Drain, and Leaf Storm. Okay. Okay, we're fine. It, was, it is okay for me to drop uh, James for this. But who even are you? You see, that is a fun question. I am you, Merlin. What? That's not possible. Look behind me. Look beside me. Anything is possible with the Alga. Well, whatever you are, Merlin or not, what do you want? Even as a child, so even as a child, you thought you were more important than everyone else. I am here to show you pay the pain of losing when it matters most. Well, in that case, uh, I think uh, that uh, kid behind you. Uh, might have uh, something to say about that. What? Joe! How did you get here? B! Celebi, you insignificant... Cr you insolent little creature! Well, at last. That means I can finish the both of you off in one move. Dialga, attack! I'm going to enjoy this. Believe, Joe. Remember, we can do this. All right, here we go. So he starts off with the Alga level 75. I am starting off with bits level 78 or a spear. Oh, it didn't one shot. 
Oh, he's using aura spear himself. Okay, but I outspeed. So, eat your debt. Beautiful. Thanks, Bits. You're amazing. Just wish that uh, Aura Spear had done more damage, that's all. Dom Manitan. Okay, this is uh, this is Criminal's job. Because this is a uh, normal Dom Manitan, not Galarian Dom, Dom Manitan. This is normal Dom Manitan. You are fresh on this thing. And that's faster than me. But I'm able to live it, so I'm fine. Scold is doing a lot of damage. I should be able to live another thrash. Is it a two-turn thrash? No, it's a three-turn thrash, but you're dead. All right, cool. Uh, Roserade coming in. I think Wildfire is the play for this. Okay, Flamethrower, please. This should do a lot of... Oh, it kills. Beautiful. Uh, Seismatoad. Time Lord, you're up. Do your job. Uh, Leaf Storm. Oh, come on, Time Lord. Your job is to your job is not to miss. Your job is to hit things. Hit him. There we go. Maybe you're not as good as James. <laughs> okay, Corviknight coming in. That is. Ooh, who do I deal with, Corviknight? Who's a good deal? Um, Wildfire. Wildfire's a good deal with uh, Corviknight. Oh, finds a great deal with Cove Knight. Let's go for Flamefire. It's not four times effective, but it's uh, at least dual effective, and that means it will do some damage, and it'll kill. Noivern coming in. I can stay in on that. And go for the Ice Beam. I can live a Boom Burst. Ice Beam should kill. Because this is quite effective on you. Beautiful. Beautiful work, Wildfire. Beautiful work, everyone else. How? But the Alga obeys me. Yeah, and I have a Lucario, which is more powerful than your Dialga. Joe, quick. Uh, take control of the Adamant Orb from Merlin. Uh, I'll help the Alga. Joe, obtain the Adamant Orb. Joe, put the Adamant Orb in the item's pocket. But you're a child. A pretty incredible child, if you ask me. Joe, is it? Thank you for um, everyone in the Astro region. For stopping this man. But, uh, why are you doing this? Who are you? Joe, I'm afraid, uh, you can't tell them anything. It might rip a hole in the space-time continuum. Just, I'm an old friend. I'm an old friend. I'm an old, old friend. There you go. I'm an old friend. Don't worry, as soon as we leave, they won't remember anything that happened here. Uh, the Alga will make sure of that. Who uh, seems to be feeling much better now. Come on, Joe, let's get back to our time. No, wait! Whoa. What just happened? I'm not sure. It feels like I went somewhere else. But I'm back here. Wait, Merlin! I thought uh, he went somewhere with the Alga. Ah. Oh, he doesn't look so good. Brother, what have you done? Ah. Uh, why don't you ask Joe? Joe? Did you do something? 
You know, I don't think it really matters. It all that matters is you kids are safe and whatever Merlin has uh, been doing has clearly been stopped. Oh, and your highness, uh, this, we'll take it from here. Hey, it's uh, Police Chief Roland. Roland, you were always one sh for showing up late. Yeah, I'm really sorry about that, King. Uh, but uh, we got a little bit preoccupied arresting those Team Night Grunts. What uh, do you mean most? Well, we can't seem to locate the three commanders, but uh, we still have uh, the officers searching for them all over the world. Anyway, boys, take Merlin away, if you please. Hey, Joe, um, I still want to know what happened. Alice, I think we've uh, been through enough for one day. A story for another time, perhaps? Anyway, uh, haven't you all earned eight badges now? Y yeah, yeah we did. Um, even close uh, to me winning. Uh, we're even closer to me winning. So, we're on to the next stage of the contest. Isn't this exciting? For the next stage, you'll need to head towards Astro's Pokemon League. And uh, to get there, you'll have to pass through the checkpoint where we track trainers badges. Uh, that checkpoint is our home back in Noble Town. Oh, uh, is that so? That's why uh, uh, there have been so many young trainers passing through our house while we've been growing up. Oh yeah, like that blonde lady or that uh, really quiet kid. Yes, exactly. Uh, uh, well, I'll see you at home. Come on, I'll escort you back to Colossal Town. Thank you, Roland. I knew you could do it, Joe. I can't believe we saved a whole reality. You know, I'm just really happy to be in a place like this. I forgot how nice it, the sun feels. I think if it's okay with you, I'm going to stay with you. I don't know what it is, but there's something telling me uh, to stay with you and uh, have many more adventures. I'll be here whenever you need me, Joe. Thank you, Selby. Now, please go and join the box with the rest of the Pokemon because I need uh, because I need to get James back. Because I've already uh, James is my James is my grass type, not you, uh, not you. Go away, Celebi. <laughs> I feel awful saying that. I, in the same week that I turned down a Mewtwo in Soul Silver, I am also turning down a Celebi right after it helps me save my own reality. I am that much of a dick. I am that much of a dick. <laughs> anyway. I mean, let's... Uh, let's go to Imperial City and say, uh, see what... Uh, he has to say about Celebi. Uh, see if Professor Christmas has anything to say about Celebi. The ultimate temporal Pokemon. He has nothing to say about Celebi. He has nothing to say about Celebi. The ultimate temporal Pokemon. Even though it's not actually a temporal Pokemon. It, has the, it is a Pokemon that has the ability to travel through time. That makes it a temporal Pokemon in my books. Anyway, we need to travel back to um, Noble Town. Hey, Dad. There you are, Joe. Victor and Alice have already gone on ahead. Out there, you'll find your way towards Victory Road. 
Uh, and then the Astro Regions Pokemon League. But before... Oh, I let you go out there. I have to check. You have all V8 gym badges. Dad, I have all V8 gym badges. You can trust me. Official stuff and all that. Right, let's see. That is the Dirt Badge. There's the uh, Splash Badge. Over there is the Jolly Badge. There you have the Wizard Badge. That is the Flex Badge. You got the Bright Badge. And that is the Deputy Badge over there. And finally you have the Hot Badge. With that officially cleared, well done Joe. You can head on. Oh, and perhaps the Palace uh, Gardens uh, have lots of rare Pokemon uh, for, for you to uh, roam here. Hey Mom, can you like heal my Pokemon please? Thank you. My mum is good at that. So, welcome to the Palace Gardens. Let's see what we can find here. <gasps> Hello, shiny Zoro. Do you like want to come? Uh, do you want to like, come with me? Like, come with me and be called Hero? Is that what you want to be do known as? You know? Because Hero Voltsy on his LP, he took... Uh, he, had a Z he took a Zora. Uh, you know, he uh, started with Zora, and his favourite Pokemon is Zora and uh, stuff, so I'm going to be calling you Hero. I can only put you to sleep now, because you're dead if I hit you. There we go! Beautiful Pokemon, by the way, is uh, Shiny Zoroa. Hero! Now, was that meant to be Shiny, or... Uh, I think this pal... I think the Palace Gardens has, like... Ultimate Shiny Pokemon. I'm going to stop catching shiny... If, if this is the case, I'm going to stop catching shiny Pokemon now. I mean, this has got to be named after my... Uh, s uh, after my sister-in-law's uh, uh, dog, Roxy. It's got to be named Roxy. I had a, uh, I had one in Ultra Sun that evolved into a... Uh, Lycanroc Dusk form. Uh, and that was named Roxy as well, so... I just gotta call him Roxy. One last encounter. Okay. It seems that very much every Pokemon is shiny here. Are the water Pokemon shiny? Even the water Pokemon are shiny. I don't really want a shiny, uh, uh, yeah, of that, really, but like... Look at all these beautiful shiny Pokemon! Look, shiny Blue Jay! Shiny 8. Uh, as well. Hello, shiny Chicho! You are mine! I think I'm gonna catch... Uh, immediately catch you! Get in the ball, now! Hello, shiny Chicho! Mine. And of course, we're going to name this Joe. After me. Because this is my mascot. And it's shiny. So, and it's a boy. Female ones get named criminal. Male ones get named Joe. That's how it works. And are those leper berries? No, they are cherry berries. Oh, there's some patcha. Those are sit asper. Uh, I think those are orange berry. Yeah, those are orange berries. 
those are roast and those are chester no lepers no leper berries Pancham! That's beautiful! That's a beautiful, beautiful shiny. I've never seen shiny Pancham before, by the way. I've never seen this Pokemon before. Oh, that was so close to catching. I mean, I've got to catch this and call it Poe. Like, that's got to happen. That's got to happen immediately. I, it seems that this place has permanent shinies, which is amazing. Don't get me wrong. It's amazing that, sh uh, that all these shinies exist in one place. It does get a bit samey to, uh, to see all the shinies in the world here. No, I will admit, it does get a bit samey. So, I'm going to call you... Po. You know, Kung Fu Panda. That's uh, that's the name of the panda in, ja uh, in Kung Fu Panda. Its name is Poe. Route 20. What are we going to see here, then? Probably not Shinies. Yep, definitely not Shinies. But Arvok's pretty cool. I want to see one more Pokemon before we go on. Badoof! That's like a barrel. The barrel. It's Steve. Steve the Babarrel. From uh, one of my other games that I've played on this channel, Steve the Badoof. I need to get back to playing that game. That was pretty that was an it, that was a weird game. You take the control you take the control of uh, a a Badoof named Steve. That's what you do in that game. Go. This gold duck has cloud nine. The effects of weather disappeared. Cool. Don't recap. Really because there's no weather in play to begin with, so it doesn't really matter. Here's another gold duck. That one does not have cloud nine. Can I put my repels back on now, please? I want to see what else is around here. Okay. That is all that's around here. Let's go this way then. By the way, I do love the fact that we got the uh, Let's Go music in right now. Because that, that's basically, this is the Let's Go mu music uh, remix. And it's really awesome. It almost makes me not want to surf because I want to hear the music. Heal me, please, nurse. Thank you. Not many people make it this far, so um, we stick around here and keep Nurse Joy company. Good for you. I'm guessing this is Victory Road. It is. There's, uh, it seems to have something fit into this pedestal. Okay. Perhaps maybe like for legendary, po that's maybe that's a place for legendary Pokemon or maybe that's some, something else. I don't know. All I know is that is a Haunch Crow, and that is a horrible Pokemon for you to be facing here, James. Get the hell out of there. That's a nasty blotting Haunch Crow. It's even worse for you to be facing, James. It's like, it gets, it, it like, on the scale of 1 to 10, the fact that it's a Haunch Crow has already made it an 8. The fact that it's a nasty blotting Haunch Crow with Dark Pulse makes it an almost 10. It's like a 9.5. Now, if it 
if it had uh, like a very power if it had another powerful move for example if it had i don't know maybe like an e i don't know air slash for example then it would be a very scary pokemon that'd be a 10. okay rocker could take out a furlinx shades grows to level 80 bronzong coming in Hopefully it's a levitating bronze song, so that way I can use wildfire. And it is. The sense of thing about bronze songs, you can never tell whether they're levitating or whether they're uh, heat proof. And you just have to go, you just have to hope that you know which one it's going to be. You don't always know which one it's going to be, sadly, though. Okay, so there's a ladder that way. And then round here is another. It is this way. Now it's a question of which way does the game want me to go versus which way I should be going. Appleton is a is a grass dragon type. I'm gonna switch from it. Beautiful. Didn't kill though. It left it with a literal uh Focus Sash. But it only used Iron Defense, so it's fine. Rocket Grace to level 79. Stun Jorna. Actually, I can stay in on that. I can very much stay in on that Energy Ball. Wow, that lifted with another... Oh, that's, that actually has Sturdy. The Appleton doesn't have Sturdy, but Stone Jonah does. And he's removing his Stone Jonah to go into Vivalon. I mean, I have this thing. It's called Sludge Bomb. Maybe you've heard of it. Oh, you have Hurricane. You have that thing called Hurricane. Okay, you've heard of you've heard of the Sludge Bomb thing then. Oh my god, can I stop leaving things on a literal focus sash? I'm going to have to get out of here so James can stay alive. It's really annoying that I keep on leaving things on 1 HP. Even things that don't have 1 HP are being left with, uh, on 1 HP. And even things that don't have sturdy, I mean, are being left on 1 HP. That's not cool. Really not cool. Rocker will come in and deal with this. There we go. Good work, Rocker. And good work, James, too. James was, ama James was amazing. He just kept on leaving things on 1 HP, which is not the best. Not what I want. Oh. Is that the ruby? Uh, I have to get... In order to get this, I have to block this ladder off? I mean, I want the ruby. For Groudon. I mean, what's here? the hell is that? I mean, I wanted to, I want to explore this place. I also want to go and see what that, uh, where that ruby goes to. Because now I have the ruby. Uh, you know what? Let's go and see where the ruby goes to. And then we'll, get, uh, then we'll end off today's episode. So now we'll push that way, and then here we go. We'll take the super repel. You can't get whatever there is, but there's a strength rock. Okay. And if we push... This strength rock 
down. And through the hole, maybe we can. Okay. And if we go around and push it like that, and push it like that, and that, and then there. Beautiful. And that, that is a turquoise crystal. Nice. Okay, so we have the ruby crystal and the turquoise crystal. I don't know what these give me. And I did see a, uh, I did see a yellow one as well. So I don't know. I want to see what those give me too. But that is where I'm going to leave it for today. If you have enjoyed today's video, please leave a like comment and subscribe join me in the live stream in about three hours time because we're playing pokemon couch version it is a rom hack made by the communities of the core four you know who they are you don't need me to tell you again who they are so that is going to be a really cool game we're playing it as a nuzlocke we're going to be doing it every sunday i'm going to stop advertising it now but like uh uh, I hope you guys will enjoy, uh, will join me for that. This is going to be our new live stream series. These every single Sunday, but we're also going to be doing this too. We're also going to have Pokemon. Count, uh, we're also going to have Pokemon Royal version going up on Sundays as well. So join us for that too, would you? And until next time, I am Lantern Joe. Me to the Pokemon get to Laza. Everybody get Pokemon. Good night. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And of course, you can ring the bell and you'll be notified first when those videos come out. You can follow me on Twitter at Lantern Joe, where you'll get news, thoughts, and opinions from me, Joe, and the rest of the Lantern Nation. And of course, if you're a fan of this sort of thing, then you might like Power Zone Metal, a radio show presented by me and my brother Dan, aka the Gentleman of Metal. You can find out more information about that on powerzonemetal.uk. And of course, if you want to watch more videos, you can watch them by clicking in the top right and top left hand corner of this here end card. And of course, until next time, from me, Joe, and from the rest of the Lantern Nation, we'll see you again.